Oh boy, I got a lot of phlegm. Oh right. boy. Everyone's getting sick at the same time. Are you sick? Yeah, my throat. Why are you guys yeah. sick, guys? It was, that, it was that pedophile next to me on the plane. Blame him. You don't you know he was that. a pedophile. Uh, you made a lot of assumptions. By the way, you looked at his chat log. He's like, there's a pedophile sitting next to me on the plane. How do you know? He was reading my pedophilic tweets yeah. <laughs> and getting really into it. Two pedophiles <laughs> sitting next to each other on an airplane? Yeah, that's just sort of a joke. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna, like, takes one to no one type thing, but... I sat next to Wayne Gretzky. Next you sit to next or... to him? He was three seats ahead of Convicted me. Convicted pedophile Wayne He's Gretzky. Real. This guy in his first class adventures. You keep coming back with yeah. tales of Bruce Green and his tales of first class. Yeah. The one time I traveled in first class in the shortest flight in America, San Francisco to LA. <laughs> but they they had a basket, but there was only one of like each item, and I was like, well, I really want a cliff bar, but then I'm the one Plus. <laughs> Mr. First Class is talking right now. First question this week comes from Ducky7799. Which emoji do you feel represents you the best? That brings us to our emoji question of the week. I'll be the. I'll be. A, is there a, a fart gas emoji? There's a poop. There is absolutely. Because I'd like to be fart gas. The butt's really hairy, and you can see the butthole. The poof of gas. There's like a fecal matter that comes out with it. I would obviously be the. Huh? What's that? I don't know. He was doing something with his hands. You got like. That guy. Oh, is Remember it? this guy? Mm -hmm. Shrug? Like, what can he do? Oh. I like him. I don't know what I'd be, but I think Lawrence would be the one of the guy flipping the desk. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Oh. And Elise would be the one in the wheelchair. No! <laughs> <laughs> so I know which emo there's there's one emoji that gets little to no playtime, and it's a detective, and he's got a magnifying glass, and yeah, I love it. He's so cute, especially in the Twitter app. He's really, really cute, and I, I always think about that when I'm, like, creeping on social media and I'm creeping on everybody's stuff. I'm the sploosh one. The drips. Because he makes women sploosh all the time. Matt Peek, what about you? Emojis are like faces, right? Oh, Matt, please. <laughs> Wait, 2017. Do you not text those to your girlfriend? No, I don't. Come on, I'm you text hearing like all the, hearts? the stuff about a detective. I'm like, what are emojis? Wait a minute. <laughs> it's a little emoji. Yeah, right. Little He's texting his kisses? girlfriend like kiss, kiss. Yeah, come on, Matt. Uh, Matt has a girlfriend. Okay, I do and use, use them in the Skype I am. So yeah, so. there you go. Is there one that's like red? It's just like red face? Because I'm really sunburned yeah, right now. Yeah, right now. Next question from 007 Pizza Man. Oi, Fun House is opening a new Las Vegas casino slash resort. What is its gimmick or theme? Mm, chemtrails? That's oh, not bad. That's, a, that's <laughs> really <laughs> good. So every hour on the hour, a fine mist descends on every casino goer. But can you see the chemtrails? Because you can't actually see chemtrails. Yeah. Yeah, you can. What are you talking about? Where do you think they come you from? Got, you Wait. guys are close, but way off. All right. You have to pick something that's timeless. Excalibur's got knights. Right. Luxor's uh -huh. Egyptians. Caesar's got Palace got Caesar. We do Avatar. Oh, so all get the waitresses you are dressed like Nobby. You can, can be in giant mechs walking around. Blue Man Group no, Blue longer, no get, longer gets big play. popular. They come do the Avatar thing. Yeah. Has there, is there a Disney themed casino? I don't think there is. Probably not. I feel like there should be a Disney themed casino because Disney can make b billions of dollars they didn't want to on casinos world the world oh, round. Dude. Tron Craps. <laughs> like Tron Craps. <laughs> and we'd have. Uh, We'd have uh, the the Donald Duck Roulette, uh -huh. the Mickey Mouse Dealers. Yeah, they no, they never wear any pants. Okay, um, an asshole. They'd have uh, Goofy beds, so you lay in a you lay in a dog bed like okay. Goofy. What? Doesn't sound very. All the uh, oh, and they'd have the uh, the champagne room would be full of Disney princesses. That's a good strip club. I'd go there. <laughs> Wasn't onto it until that last daddy. part. Now we're good. <laughs> Uh, I couldn't I wouldn't be able to afford the Avatar license, uh, so I'd be that kind of off-brand one across the street. Where it's uh, James Cameron's underwater adventure, it's just a giant. Basically, it's just an oversized aquarium tank filled with water. Within this tank are various submersibles that you must swim to, go through an airlock process to enter, and then is inside one table with your chosen. Wait, wait, wait. So you need hours, like actual airlocks? Yeah, it takes a long time. James, what about you? Um, you know, I think I would do a casino themed after uh, Las Vegas. Oh, the Las Vegas, Las Vegas the, casino. The, the Vegas, Vegas casino. Wow. Um, so everything there would basically be a smaller version of Las Vegas. So it would have a strip. You go inside and just kind of like Paris has the tiny Paris. It has oh. a strip. Oh. And then outside would be a tiny Paris. <laughs> <laughs> it's an exact replica of Paris, but, it's but smaller. smaller. Yeah. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Would Circus Circus be Circus 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 or Circus 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 Circus? <laughs> yeah. all, the, all this talk's making me retired. I need to go sleep at Luxor Luxor. Uh. <laughs> Great. Hey. Great, great place. <laughs> uh, oh, it's gonna roll. The New York, New York roller coaster. The New York, New York, New York, New York. Plus the New York, New York, New York. 
Oh, man. Matt Peak, what about you? I like the idea of jungle. What? So, hold on. What were the themes being in the jungle, Matt Peak? Like what that? if there's, like, an automated gorilla that screams at the top of the hour? Or, like, <laughs> that's like a, a rainforest. Let's just make Rainforest Cafe. Sure. You, should, you know how uh, one of, well, MGM Grand has the white tigers or whatever? Lions, wandering yeah. around? Lions? Yeah. You, should, you should have actual gorillas. Just let them... Walking around on their knuckles all yeah. over the place. Yeah. <laughs> you see if you go run. Give them little martini trays. Yeah. Um, next question from Penis Dinklage, mm -hmm. which is a funny name. Yeah. Uh, if each Funhouse member were in different high school cliques, who would be in what group and why? Fuck yeah, I'd be in band because band was the coolest. I realized that band was the coolest because everybody had sex in band. Every single person. Somebody got bent over those drums like every day. Yeah. And I felt like I missed out on a lot of that because I wasn't in the Getting band. bent over those drums, you missed out. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I would obviously be the jock. I'd be like on the football team and also the basketball team and the uh, women's hockey team. Even though the rest of the school is mostly black guys, like I'd be like the one guy, one one white guy on all the teams and everyone would be like, yeah, like they'd think I was really cool. Token white guy. I'd be that cool dude who almost has facial hair who uh, rolls up in his van. It's not a clip. It's not a clip. Yeah, no. <laughs> <The> guy alone. <laughs> it's like football practice is like halfway over and the van like putters up, but it's like on the other side of the fence. So it's just like this dude just driving around and decided to stop there. The twist is, is he's that he's 26 and he's a janitor. <laughs> <laughs> That's a cool click. I'd like to get into a ladybugs type of situation. <laughs> <laughs> Except for the uh, girls' volleyball team, because okay, they were there we go. they were really hot. What click were you in? <laughs> oh, he's on the girls' volleyball. I want to be on the girls' yeah. so. But he's pretending to be a girl. All right. Yeah, yeah. But that way, I get to learn things about them. <laughs> well, at least, what about you? Probably just with the Asian girls. So you would be an Asian girl? Yeah, we'd all wear like pleated skirts and oversized Mickey Mouse shirts. Gotcha. And... God, I love that. I'm um, at peak. I'm you'd be in the coolest one. So which one is it? The hack. Click. That is the hacky sack. Uh, oh, oh the stoners! The stoners! The hippies! Yeah. Uh, Lawrence, next one. Uh, Kyle W17 writes, What is the largest animal you could kill in 1v1 combat to the death on their home turf? I think I could kill a cat with my bare hands. It would be rough. Like, I would come out You've really lost destroyed. One, 1v1 with a cat. I lose an eye or something, but I think I could choke the cat. I think the cat wins. Mine is definitely an elderly woman. So unplug the machine. I'd bring a Three ref in later. with me. Oh, oh yeah. Just yeah. to make sure that <laughs> when I beat her to death. <laughs> Man truly is the most dangerous game. Better old woman. Uh, mine would be a shark. It's got one major weakness with a shark, right? Everyone says it's the uh, best killing machine in the world. It's not. You punch it right in the nose. How do you punch underwater, though? What do you mean, how do you punch underwater? You go like this. Whoo! Like that. You use all the strength that you've got. Maybe if you're Aquaman. Um, mine's a little ethereal, so you're gonna have to bear with me for a second. Oh, great. Uh, so as we all know, uh, all of our hopes and dreams coalesce into a giant floating cloud in the sky. Uh, in space, rather. You gonna fight God? Yeah, basically. Okay. I'm gonna take God down. Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna get in a spaceship, gonna fly up there, gonna have to go with suspended animation for a while, a couple millennia, no problem. Uh, it cracks me out, I, uh, put on my sh put on my suit, go out the airlock, floating out there, I see the face of God, and I say, God, the action in Power Rangers wasn't that great, and then, he'll just deconstruct and fade away. <laughs> That's all he had. Wow. Yep. Uh, I'd like to fight a unicorn, because that means, on their home turf, I'm now in a fantasy land, and I have access to magic. <gasps> so now I get wizard wands, and I get... He doesn't know that. It's funny, because if yes, I, I fought do. Adam on his home turf, it'd also be in a fantasy land. <laughs> Touche. Uh, Matt Peak. I'll go with a cow. I think I could figure out a way to outsmart it and kill it. I think that you said I think. <laughs> what do you mean? You just it push it over. It sits there, eats grass and shit. They don't. It's a cow. It's just called cow tipping. You push it over and you stab it. <laughs> they don't like die. Well, I think he could kill a bear. From a Boreamus. Bioware is already developing the next Mass Effect. They need Funhouse to help create a new species of aliens that the main character can romance with. What does your alien look like, and what is her or her sexual orientation? We all know you guys are making a girl. Come on. <laughs> well, I would, whatever it is, it sh should be the type of alien that doesn't wear clothing. Because the biggest problem is you have to play Mass Effect for so long just to get them naked to bone them. Yeah. So it's just like, it's like, sorry, the way that our skin works, male or female, can't work, can't like, we can't wear your traditional clothing, so we're basically nude from the start. I, like all gamers, like a challenge. Uh, and I've, I've fucked so many women and men in video games. It's your t traditional bipedal a uh, alien is no longer doesn't even blip on the radar. It's like I'm gonna get you in 20 hours or less. Uh, I want an alien that is just a sphere of flesh. There's no holes. There's no nothing. You got to figure out how to get in that thing. So I'm sitting there. I'm naked on the bow of the yeah. ship. I'm like, 
trying to edge around it, poking a little bit. <laughs> Nothing's going in. Shepard, help us. The Reapers are killing so us. I'm climbing on top. Ah, be there in a minute. Like, ah, somewhere it's got it. <laughs> it's so romantic. Yeah, yeah. it's beautiful. You guys are all you're all close. Uh, <laughs> all we really need is just a giant clam. That's, that's what I was. Mine was gonna be a giant vagina. Yeah, but I said it. Well, I Question, you'll be you a giant penis, first. and he'll be a giant vagina. No, no, I didn't say vagina. It's just a clam, and it just goes. Oh, I got to find my penis. Well, what's my penis gonna fuck now? It can't fit into anything else. What? No, we. Opposite of Lawrence, a giant ball of gas. You just stand there, and it just surrounds you, and then does everything that sex would be. Well, no, you you inhale. <laughs> Whatever that no, is. This is no different than <laughs> sex for me in general. By the yeah. way. Mine was just gonna be a human that fucks the, the walls of the spaceship. So basically, the only his only orientation is that he fucks uh, basically the walls. <laughs> yeah, they blow him out the airlock because he's weird. <laughs> Peek, I see you thinking over there. What alien would you fuck? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I like the idea of an alien that has, or a species that has more than just two sexes. Like there's like five sexes. Yeah. So you have to figure that out. Hold on, how would you have sex with all these things if your orientation's with five people? I don't know. That'd be part of uh, what you got to figure out. Maybe oh, it's circuit demolition man. Oh, Chris yeah, maybe it's got fuck. eye sex, ear sex. Yeah, and then there's also one where you get up like this and they have their legs up and then you. Drive down. Oh, you pile drive them? Yeah. Like well, that's, that's the Which only orientation. Matters, that's, that. their, that's their sex. Yeah. Matt, you got to figure all this out. Come back to us. Yeah. And some of them you right. just bend over a drum kit. Last question, Matt P. Captain Murph asks if you could redo anything in your life, what would it be? This open house. I was going to say, Matt was just thinking this open house. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I think that every week. Then you go to the murder museum, then you hit up one of the Indian casinos. Yep, well, those are the only casinos. It's not like the worst honeymoon ever. <laughs> I say you stay celibate up until your honeymoon is over because there's nothing more exciting than challenging yourself not to have sex. Well, no, you do it in the barrel when you're going over the or waterfall. Or you do it in the barrel over yeah. the waterfall. You go, I do. Uh <laughs>